Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about major histocompatibility complex. So let's get started. First of all, we should know that what is a major histocompatibility complex or MHC. So this MHC, it is a collection of genes which form proteins which are generally expressed on the surface of cells and these proteins, they help the host or you can say they help the immune system to differentiate or to distinguish between the self and non-self cells or in simple words you can say due to the presence of these MHC molecules our immune system can recognize its own cells because own cells will contain MHCs and that is specific to a particular individual and this MHC genes it present on the chromosome number 6 in case of humans and in humans it is known as the portion where these genes are present that is known as HLA means human leukocyte antigen complex and this major histocompatibility complex it is generally of two types that is class 1 molecules and class 2 molecules the class 1 MHC it is present on the all cells which contain nucleus means all nucleated cells while the class 2 MHC molecules they are only present on the antigen presenting cells means the cells which play the role in the antigen presentation like B cells and neutrophils, macrophages, dendritic cells etc. Now let's discuss about the structure of these all that is class 2 and class 1 MHC molecules. So first is the structure of class 1 MHC molecule. The class 1 MHC molecule it consists of one polypeptide that is known as alpha chain and one small polypeptide which is known as the beta microglobulin as shown in the figure the green one represents the alpha chain while that purple one represents the beta 2 microglobulin. This alpha chain it has domains which are denoted by alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3 in the diagram and the reason between this alpha 1 and alpha 2 Two domain it form a cleft like structure and this is the portion where the antigen binds that's why this, por this portion also known as peptide binding cleft and this alpha chain it has transmembrane segment means its portion it cross the plasma membrane and reach it up to the cytoplasm but beta microglobulin it does not have the transmembrane segments so this is the structure of class 1 MHC molecules Next the structure of class 2 MHC. In case of class 2 MHC it has two full fledged polypeptide chains alpha and beta and each chain has domains in case of alpha it is alpha 1 and alpha 2 domain and in case of beta it has two domains beta 1 and beta 2. Both of these alpha and beta chains they have transmembrane region means they cross they cross the plasma membrane and reach it up to the cytoplasm. So they have the transmembrane reasons and these domains they have disulfide linkages also. Here the peptide binding or you can see the antigen binding cleft it consists or it is formed due to the interaction between the domain alpha 1 and beta 1. So due to the alpha 1 and beta 1 the cleft is formed where antigen can bind so that's known as the peptide binding clefts. So this is the structure of class 2 MHC molecule. Now let's discuss about the functions of MHC. First is antigen presentation. The this MHC molecule it display the you can say it helps in the antigen presentation means T cells they do not recognize the antigen alone. They can only recognize the antigen when it is complexed with the MHC molecule. So this MHC molecule it first, it, you can say it first bind the antigen with itself then display the antigen to the T cells and when the T cell recognize the antigen which is bound to MHC then it will act and kill that antigen. In absence of MHC T cells will never kill that antigen. So you can say this that the MHC molecule it act as the antigen presentation molecule. Next self and non-self recognition. So MHC molecule they also help the immune system to distinguish between its own cells and other cells or you can say the cells from an other individual. So MHC molecule it acts as a key molecule which help in the recognition of 
सेल्फ एंड नॉन सेल्फ मोलिक्यूल सो इम्यून सिस्टम इट रिकोगनाइज इट्स ओन एम एच सी एंड द सेल्स विच डू नॉट हैव द एम एच सी मोलिक्यूल ऑफ इट्स ऑन सो दैट विल बी रिकोगनाइज एज नॉन सेल्फ और यू इन सिंपल वर्ड्स यू कैन से दैट द एम एच सी मोलिक्यूल ऑफ अदर इंडिविजुअल इट इज रिकोगनाइज एज नॉन सेल्फ मोलिक्यूल बाय द इम्यून सिस्टम नेक्स्ट इन ऑर्गन ट्रांसप्लांटेशन सो एज आई टोल्ड एम एच सी हेल्प इन द डिस्टिंग और डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन सेल्फ एंड नॉन सेल्फ सेल्स सो हेयर इन केस ऑफ ऑर्गन ट्रांसप्लांटेशन इफ द डोनेटेड टिश्यू और यू कैन से ट्रांसप्लांटेड टिश्यू और ऑर्गन इट हैज एम एच सी मोलिक्यूल दैट इज नॉट मैचिंग द एम एच सी मोलिक्यूल ऑफ द रेसिपेंट दैन देर विल बी रिजेक्शन मीन्स वी हैव टू मैच द एम एच सी एंटीजन बिफोर ऑर्गन ट्रांसप्लांटेशन इफ एम एच सी एंटीजन दे डू नॉट मैच सो ऑर्गन विल बी rejected so this is also one of the function of this mhc that is major histocompatibility complex so this was all about the mhc and the functions of mhc so that's all for today guys thank you very much